right, number two, we're asked to sketch the solid whose volume is given by the sum of these two integrals. It's in everyone's least favorite coordinate system, spherical coordinates. But this will force you to understand the motions of the system. Okay, we start off with our sweeping motions. Rho is going from 0 to 2. So I'm going to imagine rho goes, starts at the uh, origin and we're sweeping up two units, the positive z-axis. What's next? The phi goes from 0 to pi over 4. Phi equals 0 is here. Phi equals pi over 4 is going to be over here. So we're going to sweep down this way. So as the row is going from 0 to 2, it's being swept from 0 to pi over 4. All right, so we get that, which is going to sweep out that little membrane, if you think about it that way. And finally, the theta goes from 0 to 2 pi, which is going to take this membrane and whoosh it around. And hopefully then you can visualize what we get out of this. Oops, if I can draw it is we get an ice cream cone complete with ice cream. Right, so that's what we get for that part of it. So it's that solid there. In this one, uh, rho is going from 0 to square root 2 cosecant phi, so we're going to have to figure out what the heck that looks like from pi over 4 to pi over 2 on the phi, from 0 to 2 pi on the theta. So let's sketch in the easy stuff first. Phi is picking up where this phi left off, so at pi over 4 uh, to pi over 2. All right, so there's phi equal pi over 2, there's phi equal pi over 4. All right, so that's where the phi is going. Um, theta, no big surprise, he's spinning around that way. So whatever is happening here, we need to figure out what the rho is going out to. Rho is starting at zero, so it's going to start into here and then it's going to go out to whatever this crazy function is. So that's what we need to spend our time on, is rho equal radical 2 cosecant phi. Now we don't have any conversions that involve cosecants of phi, but I can multiply both sides by sine of phi to get this. And it really depends on how much attention you've been paying uh, when you go through and do these conversions. Rho sine phi. Um, you may recognize this immediately as the polar coordinate r. Um, you may square both sides. And we won't lose any information because rho and sine phi are always positive. To get rho square sine squared phi equals 2. And you may recognize rho square sine squared phi as we've seen several times in class and even uh, on number 1. That's x squared plus y squared. So no matter how you do it, uh, either you recognize this immediately as the cylinder r equals 2 or the cylinder there. That's what's really going on is we're a fixed distance radical 2 out in the xy plane. So that's what this is. And so really what we're doing is we're going from 0 out and we're going straight down. And so when I whip this around, what am I getting? What kind of object am I getting here? I'm getting a cylinder but with this cone piece removed. So if I take this cylinder with this cone piece removed and put that back on there, this is what I get. I get a silo. Oh, that's not going to look right. Let me draw my cylinder. And on the top of the cylinder, I have um, a sphere. And so I call this a silo. So that'll do it then for number two.